Well, hey there, it's Catherine. This month over at Stamp Nation, Allison Cope, one of our dream team members, is hosting a series of lessons and uh, follow-up challenges based on coloring. She is an amazing colorist and she is sharing a lot of her knowledge with us. So it's been super fun and super exciting so far. We've had two lessons. And the first lesson she uh, based on crayons. <laughs> so there were a couple things she showed us how to do, one including the heated crayons technique. And I thought it was really super cool. It's not something I've seen before. So I wanted to share it with you guys today. So you need crayons and you need a heat tool. I've stamped my image with Memento Black Ink. This is an image by Penny Black. And I'm gonna turn my heat tool, heat tool on and just warm up that cardstock. And once you've got it warm, I like to usually just leave my heat tool on, but you can turn it off. Um, my paper isn't quite heated up as much as I want it to be. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of crayon, get some color down right along the outline because when it's hot, <laughs> excuse the dogs. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you follow me on, on uh, Instagram or not, but we have a little foster dog this weekend. And once in a while, Kenley walks by and growls at her. So <laughs> that's what you, oh, there they go. <laughs> We bring her back uh, Monday morning. So by the time you're watching this, she'll be gone. But she's adorable. All right, so I'm just laying down some color just to get a base on there so I don't go out of the lines. All right, so now we're going to heat. Once this is hot enough, check that out. When you add the cr I mean, obviously... Getting it really hot right now and it's really really melty and adding a lot of color but look as it gets quite not so hot it gives this really cool look I got a lot of crazy down there all right I might have to go bust some skulls with these dogs I don't really mean bust skulls I just mean tell them to be quiet <laughs> okay so there's a little bit of trial and error here with getting your crayon too hot and not hot enough because you can see the hotter it is, the more wax is melted onto your project and the darker it is. But it's really a really cool look and a really fun way to use your crayons. Look at that just melt on there. It's, it's awesome. And then when you come back and kind of blend it out, you can make these um, little marks and waves in the color and it just looks so cool. All right, so I've got that dark color up there. Now I want a light color on the bottom. And then where they meet, you can start blending them. And you can develop your own rhythm and what you kind of want this to look like when it's done, but it's super fun to play around with. And it's quite inexpensive because you know crayons, I bought mine at the wrong time of year. <laughs> mine were like $2.50 and it was buy one get one free. Uh, Elaine got hers for 50 cents a box, but still, even at a dollar, you know, a dollar something per box, gosh, you can't go wrong. All right, let's see. So that's looking really cool. Um, up here it looks a little bit odd, so let me just heat that and get it moving again. And oh, now I'm adding a little bit too much color there, but I think I might just need to play with it for a minute. Oh my gosh, that's so fun.
Now when Allison was doing hers, I think she was getting the paper hot and not so much the crayon. And I was doing a lot of getting the crayon hot. And that's why I got so much wax and pigment on my paper. There, that looks pretty cool. So a little pattern paper border, some twine, a couple strategically placed sequins, and a die cut sentiment, and we're done. I hope you guys are inspired and you'll try out this technique. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope I'll see you over at Stamp Nation. Thanks for being here. See you guys again soon.